All right, hi people, it's Shakes here, and I'm here to do an unboxing and review for you guys today of Star Wars: The Black Series, Luke Skywalker, Imperial Lake Cruiser from The Mandalorian, uh, which I have not actually watched The Mandalorian, but I did see the big stir that an episode of it made online when they used CGI to recreate um, a young Mark Hamill's face and an AI to reproduce his younger uh, voice, because if you hear Mark Hamill now, his voice doesn't sound like it did back in the 70s to 80s, so... Yeah, so I understand that. But, yeah, so they made a figure based on that appearance of Luke Skywalker, and I am going to get uh, one that is coming out later this year that's based on his, uh, th his appearance in Return of the Jedi, but, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, technically, second Star Wars Black Series... Um, figure, but only because I got Han Solo first uh, through the mail. So, you know. Oh, yeah. So, I just, just look at the packaging first. You got a render of the figure right there. Star Wars The Black Series. Um, and all that. Side here with a nice artwork picture of him. A picture of uh, the figure and what he comes with, with the, which is the lightsaber. The back right here, another picture, or the same render of him, a description of the figure, and uh, what the version of this figure is based on, and the uh, Star Wars, the, Man the Mandalorian says 30 right there, I'm not sure what that number signifies, um, but here we go. Very similar to the Power Rangers Lightning Collection, you can see. Um, but there's no alternate hands or heads or anything. And that's that's not even a it's not even a bag. It's just tissue paper wrap. Okay. Whatever. Um, and he has a cloth robe and hood, which is interesting. It's funny, after the, all the Power Rangers figures, I just expect these things to be, uh, plastic. But yeah. Um. Oh, man. Take a look at that in a second. And we got... A plastic bag. You gotta open up, okay. With his lightsaber. I'm kind of more used to Lego Star Wars lightsabers. Um, this is actually really cool, and I like all the little detail for the holster that they kept from the actual prop. That's actually really nice, and I mean like the paint, not necessarily the mold. The mold can be whatever, because they designed that on a computer and then 3D print it, so... Yeah, um... That actually looks really cool. Kind of sad that they didn't give you a, um... Oh, you can take the... Oh, okay, you can take it out if you want him to have... The... Lightless, I guess, version of it. That's actually really cool. And that makes sense that they would do that. So yeah, so for the figure, again, cloth, robe, and everything, I think I can just take this off, and I can. Okay. So yeah, just a cloth robe with a hood, which it doesn't really feel like the hood was, like, sewn quite right, because it doesn't really show his face like it should, like it shows on the front of the box. So that's just annoying. Um, so yeah, so you got Lou Skywalker right here. Um, actually, does this go right? No. That fell on the floor. Try not to have things fall, but anyways, um... Yeah, so, if you just have them still, I guess you can just have the lightsaber like that. 
Not bad. I think the thing should be a. I think that clip should be a little bit more extended so the lightsaber actually stays. But that's actually not that bad. Um, I know if it's. I know it might not be accurate to the actual costume and whatever, but a figure should be able to make slight changes like that or additions where it would make sense for a figure. But let's take a look at the figure. So you got his face. Nice likeness to 70s, 80s Mark Hamill, I think, right there. I think they did a pretty good job modeling his face for this. Granted, they did do, I think, I think they did, like, a few different Luke Skywalkers before this, so they've pretty much perfected it, if not already had it good in the first place. So, yeah. And uh, his outfit, um, it's okay. I haven't seen The Mandalorian again, so I've only seen, like, set photos and stills from the episode, so... Yeah, but I, I don't think this looks bad on him at all. So yeah, you got the uh, regular human hand and his robotic hand, because I'm assuming this takes place after um, Empire Strikes Back. So, yeah. So in regards to his uh, articulation, got full 360 head movement. His head can move back and forth and a bit of side to side, um, because it's on that kind of ball joint. The... Arms can move almost at a 90 degree angle this way. Uh, just a single elbow joint that can move pretty far in. Um, bit of like waist articulation. Legs can move like that. It's basically similar to the Han Solo figure I just did a video of. Knees are double ball jointed, I think. No, actually, that's just a single ball joint, which for these legs, I guess I get. Um, so then the feet, you can just move like that, break his ankle, and move back and forth. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, in the picture on the box. He holds the lightsaber. I guess by the midsection. So you can have him uh, holding it either without the light part or with it. However you want him to hold it. And you can have him with or without the robe and hood. Um, that's actually really nice. Um, so yeah, I do kind of wish the robe was maybe plastic or something, so it would be right to the picture, or that it was sewn better, um, for where it's supposed to be sewn together. It's really dumb, but, eh, what can you do? Uh, it's so kind of similar problem, or different, but... Also, similar problems to what the Power Rangers Lightning Collection kind of has every so often. But granted, they usually just work with plastic. These have actual cloth. Um, yeah. So, I do like the figure overall. I think it's mostly good. Um, just the, uh, the clip for the lightsaber is a bit weird. I think it should have been extended a little bit so it actually holds on to the lightsaber really well. Um, and the... Like I said, the, the hood on the robe could be a bit better in regards to how it is sewn. But otherwise, um, I think the figure is perfectly good if you want to get it. So, yeah. So really, not much else to say, so links in the description on my shit, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you guys in the next one.